back in the garage for day two of the build. And uh, we just got the engine mounted yesterday. So today's the day where things really start to come together and start to actually work, right? Yeah, uh, late last night we got everything hooked up at least temporarily and got it fired up. Um, so it runs. So really main goals for today is figure out the controls. Controls and the gas yeah. tank, yeah. We need brake, shifter, the throttle. We might change the clutch around a little bit too. And then figuring out how to get the body on last. Yeah. But we could probably do that all today, huh? Well, we'll see. <laughs> Let's send it. <laughs> you. And then we're gonna put this on it so that our feet don't slip off while we're driving it. Yeah, we'll just cut a little chunk out of that. It's a nice shape and, yep. Which is gonna be way better than it was. <laughs> this is our pile of everything random you've been collecting for probably years and years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. And so far that's the majority of what's holding this together. Cut this little piece off and use it for the throttle cable amount on the th on the uh, gas pedal. We just slide that into there and then rotate it and that way it can't come out when you uh, give it all of the gas. Back to the Barbie cart and this is what we got going so far. Ethan put on the brake line and the seat and we just mounted the gas tank to the top of the engine temporarily so that we can rip around on it. So let's rip around on it. I think the frame, the axle is getting more bent though. You could drift it like nothing. I guarantee you it'll drift second gear on cement for sure. Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah. So should we get the chain tightened so we can really rip on it? You. You. All right, we got a piece of aluminum from the party bus and this is gonna be our support. The current problem is the chain puts too much torque on the whole frame. It bends. As you can see, the whole frame flexes. The whole frame flexes and, uh, and then the chain the falls The chain off. gets loose and slaps off of there. So um, we could just add a chain tensioner, but we're watching in the slow motion and the chain actually, when you give it throttle, the chain, the bottom of the chain actually comes all the way up and hits the top part of the chain. That's how much it gets loose. So a chain tensioner might help, but it might under extreme load still uh, get loose. So we're going to use this little piece of leftover party bus and we're going to bolt it on basically right here between this, between the drive axle and the, um, the wheel axle and uh, that should stiffen it up considerably. I think we'll be good to go at that point. 